found. Alright guys, hello. Had to adjust the volumes a little bit. So today, I'm doing the thing that I was excited about. If you watched my last video, this is what I'm most excited for is a voiceover of gameplay as death takes my sage. Um, interesting. Death sage is the life giver, but okay, whatever, it's fine. So this is a voiceover, basically uh, to talk about OCD, because most people know what anxiety is, most people know what depression is, stuff like that. So I kind of want to talk about OCD and what it is and like effects it's had on my life. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. And this is all it's going to be, just me talking while game plays in the background. <clears throat> but this is like... I'm kind of excited because this is exactly what I wanted to do, and I figured out how to do it today. And if you watch my last video again, I literally started this two days ago. So, anyway, when I was younger, uh, we first learned or figured out that I had OCD when I started, like, I would get very angry with people if they moved something I put down, like, even a centimeter or an inch. I would get very angry, and it was like, I would clean things obsessively, like, more, why would a kid clean? Who wants to clean when you're a kid, you know? Um, so stuff like that, like, and the biggest one was when you would move something an inch, I would have to move it back instantly. So we first started thinking I had it back then, uh, go forward a few years, I started to, like, I would wash my hands to a point that they would become black. Like, I just couldn't stop washing my hands, I don't know why it was. It was just something I did, and I couldn't stop myself. Like, I was always worried about germs and stuff like that. So I just, I would continuously wash my hands. I would, like, wash them half an hour ago, and I'd go wash them again. But not like I did anything. Like, I didn't go to the bathroom or anything. I just had to wash my hands. Every time we ate, every time I touched something, it was just, I was always washing my hands. Sometimes I didn't even have to do anything. I just had to wash my hands, and they became so dried out, they started turning black. So don't, don't wash your hands that much, or don't turn black. I don't know how those shots didn't hit, I was angry about that one. Uh, but yeah, that was just something that happened. And they're... back then they were just like worried that I was scared of germs and stuff like that, but they like added it together and like, oh, it's probably his OCD again. Because we started, we had, uh, my, what's that called, a pediatrician, we met with him and he said that's probably why, it's probably that OCD. So we had chickens when, and that, oh, that's an interesting tie-in. But we had chickens, and when I was younger, I read somewhere that people are told things, I think it was because I watched a commercial, and I'm like, why do they say the phone number three times? And my mom had told me, they're like, they did billions of dollars in research that if you tell someone something three times, they'll, they'll, it'll stick in their head. So, ever since I heard that, my OCD has, like, clung to it, or it was just like that naturally, I'm not really sure, I'm gonna say it clung to it, because ever since then... And with the chicken coop, when I would, I would always go out and check the chickens, and we had to run for them, but we'd want to keep them inside so no like foxes or coyotes got them. So I would put this little door in, so no nothing could get them, and I'd count the chickens, and I'd count them again, and I'd count them again, to make sure they were all there. And I counted them. I knew they were there. I knew they were all there, but I still had to keep counting them because my brain couldn't accept that it wasn't right the first time, that it was right the first time. And then after I got out of the chicken coop. We had these little like swivel locks. You would like put the latch over and then turn the turn the lock so it would stay stay closed. I would go through and lock a ball. I would go back to the front, make sure it was locked. I'd go to the side, make sure it was locked. Go to the back, make sure it was locked. And then I would go back again, make sure it was locked. Make sure it was locked. Make sure it was locked. I did that three times every single night. And my mom like because I was scared of the dark when I was younger because I was like I was probably like seven when we had these chickens. I was scared of the dark, so my mom. Looked, I always told my mom to watch me from the kitchen window, and <clears throat> so she would like she would watch it, and she I don't know like it was never something we always understood instantly why I did it. Like we just sometimes you would just think it was extra careful. It's hard to notice what's OCD and what isn't, you know. But it, like when something is like that, it's very obsessive. There's gonna be somebody who so he can't there was that somewhere. those occasions that I would always check something uh, when I would lock. Them. I watched a horror movie one time, so it was like, and that's and like that's what could trigger things. Like after I would watch a horror movie, I would make sure the house is locked like five times, every window, every door, 
and we have a lot of windows in my house so that was awful imagine that like well imagine any house it's like 20 windows right so i'd have to walk all around the house making sure the windows were locked it was like miserable and i'd like and like here's the thing is when you do that when you are checking things you know it's fine. You know you locked it the first time. Yeah, there's a twin shadow in the bathroom, bro. your OCD can't just accept kidding. it. You, it's, it's, obs- a, it's an obsession. Kidding. It's just called obsessive compulsive disorder. And it was just like... You're a fucking god, bro. You, you know. you know, In your head, you know it was locked the first time. But you have to go check it again. And then, this, and like and like most mental illnesses, you hate yourself. Because by the third time, you you're like, I know I checked it. What am I doing? Why am I doing this to myself? But I, yet, I just still go back and check it again. I'm gonna fucking and that's, imagine being like that me. when you're seven years old. It was not fun. And yes, I am venting. I'm not, I don't want pity or anything, but that's, I'm venting. This is what the things I've had to deal with. And I don't even have bad, like some people, well, I don't know, I probably have it moderately, I guess. But some people like, can't even live. They like literally can't handle checking things. Um, 20 seconds left. <laughs> I've been talking to you guys. I leave little messages when I'm doing voiceovers. This is what I'm gonna. Th- I think I'm gonna do. I think it's kind of funny. Spike planted. <laughs> so, yeah. Where was I? Uh, just like when you are that young, and people have a worse. It's just. I wonder if like because like it's crippling sometimes. Like some people can't even leave their house because they can't handle the things around them. Like the world isn't perfect. Like that's kind of what it is. It's like kind of being a perfectionist. It's like an unhealthy obsession to be perfect, is what I've learned. So, and I do it with school too. Oh my gosh, I take forever on tests. I have to go through the test three times. Like, and that's like I said. I think ever since I heard that from my mom is like, I think that's what my OCD clung to, and it's not good. I would have to check over tests three times before I would turn them in. So, like when you're in grade school and you're like the last one done, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, just finish. We want to continue. <laughs> Tired of sitting here quiet. So yes, I was that kid. I just like I just couldn't help it though, and I wanted to get them all right. And I honestly, I think my OCD kind of benefits me maybe because I'm I am pretty good at school, and it's because I think it's because I obsess over it. Like anything I do, I obsess. I have to be perfect at it, and it and like it makes me get angry. Like video games, if I'm not playing perfectly, I'll get angry. If I mess up in sports, I get angry. Maybe I'm just competitive. Maybe maybe I'm just making an excuse for being a hothead. But like I just I want to be perfect and it's an unhealthy obsession to be perfect. It's not a fun circumstance. And no one really understands it. Like I'm I'm getting more open with it now because I've had to I've finally had to tell my parents when I was in college, I'm twenty years old. Since I was in college I was away and I could do what I wanted. So I started meeting with a therapist because I didn't have to go through my parents, because my parents are they're not bad people they're good parents but they're very rough they're like very tough and strict and stuff and they wouldn't accept and they didn't so i started seeing a therapist on my own like uh, the school school houses therapists of their own like their students graduate students so i started talking to them and they like not being accepted is makes it really hard so like imagine because and i'm saying this because I recently, just like last week, and this is like obvious, so yeah, I'm talking about when I was younger, it's still happening. Last week, we li- I live in an apartment for work, internship, and I locked my car. I came up to the apartment, Let's put them in the and I'm like, did I lock my car? And the reason why is because I was worried, and I was stressed out that day too. Not going to get into that now, but I was stressed out that day. So when I'm stressed, it flares up it seems so I was worried I didn't lock my car I'm in a new place for the internship apartment stuff so I was worried about it so I went back down checked my car it was locked checked every door I came back up to the apartment I'm like did I lock it was I sure I went back down and checked it again it was locked I came back up to the apartment and I told myself it's locked what are you doing Cause in my head I'm like, did you lock it? Are you sure? And that's, I watched the video one time and it's like perfect. Your head is talking to you. It is forcing you. It is making you want to check that again. It's like, did you lock it? And you're like telling yourself, yeah, I did. Did you though? Your brain is like constantly beating you down, making sure you did the things, and it won't let you accept it. So what did I do? I walked from my apartment building down to the parking garage and made sure my car was locked. It's not a it's not a short walk. 
for the third time, I went to make sure my car was locked. That's and it, it like and you just hate yourself so much because you know it was, but you can't help yourself. It is an obsession, and it's compulsive. You can't you can't stop it. It's just it's tough, and like I'm I'm getting heated talking about it because like when you talk about it, it's how real it is. And I told my my father this because I got the internship through him, and I told him about it because I'm trying to be more open with him because my mom. It's very angry with me for not being more open, even though she doesn't accept things when I tell her anyway. <laughs> Sorry, ranting. Um, but I'm running out of time, so this will, this is a good spot to get near the end. But I told him, and he said, that's messed up. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So it's like, I'm getting closer to the point where I'm going to need medication, I think, especially as I get more stressed in life. It's not, it's not healthy, and it, since it's still doing it, I just think it'd help, and I think, like I like I told you guys, I suffer from OCD, depression, anxiety. I want to say my OCD is the biggest cause. Like it's you got to find the root cause, and like yeah, I'm depressed, but why am I depressed? Is it because I'm obsessed with being perfect? I sure think so. So I think it's my OCD, and they have OCD medication, and so yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna to go. That could be a whole video on itself on medication. But we're near the end. Gonna run out of gameplay, but. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for listening if you did. Gotta cut them short sometimes because I don't want to end the video wrong. But yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. And thank you for listening. Attackers win.